welcome to Loose Change. Way better than the after party. No, it really is. Especially this show. I'm Jim Evans. Thanks for joining us. You'll be so glad you did because we really do have a terrific show. You know, the, uh, the sports story of the year in our area in 2022 was our two state football championship teams. The Canfield Cardinals and the South Range Raiders, both winning their first ever titles in school history. And we are so fortunate to have both coaches joining us here in just a moment with head coach Dan Yeagley of the Raiders and Cardinals head coach Mike Pavlansky, who will join us next right here on Loose Chain. So stay tight. Unhappy with your workforce connectivity? Get more with Armstrong Business Solutions. Armstrong delivers the latest in telecommunications products to keep your business connected and competitive. Business Pro Wi-Fi adds flexibility and security to your devices. And wireless internet backup keeps you up and running during a network disruption. Our new and expanding 10G network provides more gig speed fiber and more internet selection for business customers. Armstrong Business Solutions. Get more out of your business. Welcome back to Loose Change. I'm Jim Evans, and I have the great privilege to be joined by the head coach of the uh, Division Three <laughs> state champion Canfield Cardinals football team, Coach Mike Pavlansky. Thanks to, for coming. Jim, Mike. thanks great for having you. me. I great to be say, out here. I can't say congratulations yeah. enough. We're a little late Appreciate in getting this that. done, but yeah. the flu bug had other ideas. Yeah, so. I understand. Yeah, but, no problem. Uh, uh, you know, and I, talking to you over the years, and I know uh, you, 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 so many other coaches, this achievement means so much to you obviously but for the for the for the guys for the boys and you yeah. have to be so proud of what they I do. absolutely Jim is still uh you know we're about uh you know 30 days out and still just uh shake your head sometimes just so happy for our kids and assistant coaches our school community yeah um you know still a buzz around Canfield there's no doubt about that it's gonna be really cool to drive I don't I haven't seen yet but drive in to mm -hmm. Canfield you see the the sign it will say you know, mm -hmm. Division Three state. Yeah, they're champs, they're yeah. they're in, uh, that's in the works. There's no yeah, okay. doubt, and uh, hopefully in the next few months that can get accomplished and put up at the yeah. uh, four corners you're coming in. Well, you know, it was a great day for the area as you followed mm -hmm. up South Range, and uh, we're going to talk to Coach Yangley mm -hmm. as well. But it was a nice celebration uh, over in yeah, uh, absolutely, South both uh, teams just a few miles apart. Yeah, Josh Cohol and the uh, Mayor Mayor Dragic and Canfield put together a great celebration on Sunday, the 18th, I think yeah. it was, I was with still South Range, yeah, South Range and us, and uh, you know, for the people to turn out in, in really really cold weather to to yeah. celebrate both teams and both schools, uh, I, I thought it was a, a neat gesture. Absolutely, and. Uh, the game itself, I think leading in, you knocked off Bloom Carroll 35-14. Um, uh, you felt, uh, uh, so many quotes you talked about uh, with me, uh, you know, being able to, to run the football yourself, yeah. but mm -hmm. at least slow them down. That's right. exactly what you yeah. did, and yeah. it played out. You were 9-12 of 12 on third down, I mm -hmm. believe. Absolutely. You do that, and you yeah. got a pretty good chance. Yeah, in any game, you got a good chance, let alone a championship game. And, you know, we talk to our kids all the time about uh, – you know, stopping the other team's run game. No matter who you're playing, right. you know, we play the first game of the year, West Branch, who throws the ball yeah. all over the place. And uh, But if they can run the football and throw it, defensively you're going to be in trouble all day. And, uh, you know, we had a Bloom Carroll team that ran it 90% of the time. And uh, our defensive coaches, led by Wally Hurdley, Joe Ignacio, Dan DiGiacomo, uh, Cameron Terrashotti, uh, did a tremendous job coming up with a defensive game plan that our kids executed to a T. And, you know, we held a team that uh, had rushed for over 3,000 yards or maybe 4,000 yards in the season um, to 69. And yeah. uh, doing that and then converting to third downs, as you're saying, uh, we're able to stay on the field, um, you know, allowed it to be a great afternoon for us. They had some big dudes up front, too. You <laughs> they did. Your, your D-line, though, man, was right <laughs> they there did. all over the place. Yeah, they did. But, you know, we – we knew going into the game if we were not a faster football yeah. team, it was going to be a long afternoon for us. And, uh, you know, defensive line-wise, we were much faster than they were offensively. And, you know, from an offensive standpoint, we were able to get the edge with Danny and Brock on our outside zone game. And, uh, you know, once we were able to do that, it kind of opened things up for us. You know, and to get this done, can't say it enough, mm -hmm. senior leadership all, all throughout Absolutely. the season. Yeah, in, in any year, uh, you're only going to be as good as your seniors yeah. are. And uh, this year we had 28 tremendous seniors that, uh, you know, <clears throat> really bought into the role that we asked them to play. Yeah. And some of those guys, there's like being the best practice player you've ever been mm -hmm. because Friday night repetitions uh, on the field are going to be limited. 
And, um, right. you know, they bought into that. And obviously, you know, you got a Brock Lowry, you got an A.J. Murphy, you got a Jack Davis, mm -hmm. you've got, you know, guys, I'm Don Marzano, guys, I'm going to miss. There's just so many of them that uh, right. uh, were just great leaders. And, um, you know, it turned into a really special year for us. Well, in that game, uh, and certainly throughout mm -hmm. the season, it was uh, Brock o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Five touchdowns, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. He's just... Uh, unstoppable yeah. force. Uh, yeah, it just, uh, and he'll be the first one to say it, it's due to his offensive line, due to the yeah, wide receivers right. blocking and running proper routes. Um, he'll give credit to everybody else, yeah. but, uh, you know, Brock is a special player. There's no doubt he's one of the finest, if not the finest, football players to come through Canfield. Did you call that uh, throwback from Paul Bidney? It was, there was a, there was in between the third <laughs> and fourth flower. quarter, uh, you had that, uh, you have a one minute uh, time out there, but then with the media, you had an extra minute. So there was a, a good conversation held among the office of coaches about what to do. And, uh, you know, again, we, we decided on doing it, gave yeah. it one shot. And, you know, Paul did a great job executing his part of the play. And, you know, Brock caught the football. When you put the ball in 12's hands, anything can happen. Absolutely. But, you know, these guys, uh, you know, get to that game, win or lose, it's right. so few people mm -hmm. that have that opportunity. Yeah. And this is something, you know, they'll take with mm -hmm. them, obviously, uh, you know, coming out on top and, They'll have them come back to the school 30 years from now. Oh, absolutely. If you're not yeah. coaching college no, or NFL, no, no, you'll no. be coaching. Done. <laughs> Done. Uh, hey, uh, just finished, what, 22nd years as head coach yeah. at Canfield. And, uh, you know, my days are numbered. There's no doubt about that. But I'm looking well, forward to next year. Numbered. But those guys will talk about that. I was thinking about it was, uh, uh, Caden's interception. Yeah. And he, mm -hmm. what it was a 30, 40 yard return. Yes. 10 years from now, it'll yeah. be 50 yard yeah, return. Yeah, absolutely. Then 20 years, just, 60 yard return. Know, what, a, what a great young man Caden is. And uh, wrestler who went down to Columbus last year in a wrestling tournament. And, uh, you know, three year starter for us, a senior, just didn't talk much, just went out and did his job. And, um, you know, on that particular play, uh, it was a stunt. And uh, he knew what his uh, responsibility was and uh, got around the corner and, you know, locate the quarterback. Make sure he doesn't get outside of you. And then number two, you know, if a guy crosses your face, you're going to run with him, basically take a man coverage. And, you know, executed it well, and certainly the, the kid threw it, and he threw it right to Caden, and he was off to the races. You know, you mentioned, uh, uh, you know, guys in practice, and, and <clears throat> they're such a key – they play such a key role. Maybe they don't get a lot of playing time, right. uh, you know, game, game night, but uh, – you know, to prepare during the yeah. week, and there's mm -hmm. such an integral role. In Absolutely. Just, uh, you know, everybody's got a role to play. Right. Uh, but when you have your seniors that uh, who aren't going to play a lot buy into their role, uh, it's tough for a sophomore or junior not to buy into their role. Yeah. And that's how critical senior leadership is. And uh, we had some practices throughout the playoffs that were just fantastic on a Tuesday and a Wednesday that really prepared our guys for, you know, Friday nights. Yeah. Um, those who were involved in it, like you, and those some of us who uh, you know follow it as we do, there's so many things that have to happen and mm -hmm. go right for you the whole yeah. season long for, right. for this to play out like it no, did. No doubt, uh, you got to stay away from the major injuries. Yes. And knock on wood, we did that. Um, you got to continue to improve, and we did that. And there, there had to be some fortune. You know, there's some some passes that were tipped that came into our hands. There are some passes that yeah. were dropped uh, by the. Opposition that they caught, they probably wouldn't want for touchdowns. Mm -hmm. uh, those things happen, and uh, but ultimately, you, you just got to make your own luck. And, and our guys did that. You know, fourteen and one on the, on the season. Mm -hmm. We called uh, uh, your game where you lost to Cheney just came up short, yeah. and then mm -hmm. you guys stepped on the gas after. Yeah, that. you just uh, you know Cheney obviously with Seth Antrim, they got a tremendous yeah, program they, going, yeah, and mm -hmm. uh, some tremendous tremendous football players. You got two guys going to Michigan. Yeah. They're going to a few guys next year go to the Power Fives also, and uh, you know that was a heck of a football game. Yeah. And yeah, um, yes, you know came in the next day like we always do, and you know we looked at the tape and you know concentrated on what we didn't do as well as we needed to, mm -hmm. and, and our guys uh, saw that uh, in person, and you know went out on Monday to prepare for Dover, and um, you know from that point on we just got better. Well, the bar was already high, but now it's you yeah. really elevated it, and mm -hmm. it means so much more for the you know the the. the the guys coming up, the guys are already there, and yeah. the guys coming up, you know, to be part of the Canfield Cardinal football. Yeah, team. absolutely. The standards always been set, set back in 2005 with yeah. our regional or state runner-up team, those guys. And certainly it's been raised now with the 2022 team winning the state title. But uh, ultimately what we talk to our kids about every day as we started our weightlifting a week ago, let's just get better today. 
Yeah. You know, if we get better every day and keep stacking days, you know, we're, we're going to be just fine. And uh, something that Coach Trestle's always talked about is you, you get as your work deserves. And, um, you know, that's going to happen next fall also. And, uh, you know, our guys are excited right now about going and attacking next fall uh, with a big target on their back. But, um, you know, ultimately, if we can just go out and improve every day, you know, we're going to give our chance to be successful on Friday night. You know, it was a long season, but with that uh, playoff run, you get those yeah. extra practices for yeah. those guys mm -hmm. who will be coming yeah. back. That means something. Absolutely. The extra six week of practice for sophomores and juniors uh, certainly means a lot when the teams that you're playing next year didn't have that many weeks. And, um, right. you know, uh, it's a long season. That was a fast season. I'm going to tell you that yeah, right I now. Yeah, I can't believe right. it's over. <laughs> it, was uh, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, when you're having fun, time flies. You've been through a few seasons where you're two and eight. That Those were long yeah, seasons. Right, right, right. <laughs> that, that's for sure. You know, and you mentioned, you know, how this extends to the, the school, the, yeah. the, the kids there, mm -hmm. and the fans, and the community, and certainly the band. And mm -hmm. I think about those kids out there working as well. Yeah, absolutely. This is all a big part for them. They have the Earthling game, yeah. the Tropical Storm, and then uh -huh. a week later was the Ice Age against Chardon. Yep. And the, they're mm -hmm. out there as well, but so was the support, yeah. and that was uh, really our, our fans, uh, the cheerleaders, the band, the community, yeah. uh, second to none. Uh, no matter where we go, and we've been since we've been independent, we've had to travel a ways to yeah, play right. some people, and uh, you know, uh, Cardinal Nation shows up. There's no doubt, without a doubt, uh, uh, for sure. And you lose so many key players, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Um, but uh, good core coming back. As we well. do. Who are the, we've got we got a great Danny. core. Kids coming back. Yeah, Danny Inglis. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, be a fullback linebacker for us. We have um, Jake Schneider, wide out defensive yeah. back, Scotty Eaton, tell back inside slot type kid, um, you know, cornerback, Paul Bindis, quarterback and uh, corner for us. Uh, Vince Luce, I'd be a three year starter on the offensive line, defensive line yeah. for us. There's a lot of guys coming back that Coca, um, uh, uh, Santino Coca, another one. Mm -hmm. uh, Offensive lineman, defensive lineman, again, three-year starter next year. That uh, they're excited about uh, the opportunity they have in front of them, uh, you know, uh, in the twenty-three season. You it, you get to where you're at, uh, you know, the fruit of your work. Your your schedule kind of prepares you. For, oh, no for doubt. What you go through. Absolutely, you know, you know um, it always well, has. When we yeah. were in the league and now being independent, you know, we actually did a study here in the last month that uh, from two thousand seventeen until 2022 year this past season um, we have been in um, the playoffs uh, every year except for 2019 mm -hmm. and each year we've gone to the regional finals mm -hmm. and then one time we went to the regional semis got beat by Chardon in 2021 but other than that we've been in regional finals and this year state semis and winning championship uh, our schedule is certainly demanding for a division three school for sure and of course it's exciting news that your schedule will include South Range now. Is that the yeah. is, is that coming up? Th that's starting this season or the yeah? I think that uh, the ads are working on that right now. I'm not too sure if that's uh, set in stone to be honest okay. with you, but uh, yeah, they're they're talking about that's that. That's a possibility. Then. It's a possibility. Okay, I'd seen that report yeah. and didn't know if that was yeah. a, a fixed thing for sure. Yeah. But uh, you know, I can't thank you enough. Uh, you know, for uh, all of your help through, throughout yeah. the season, I'd like to be able to call more of your game. Yeah. Maybe, we'll, maybe we'll get that next year. But good. Uh, Oh, always, a, always a blast, and uh, can't thank you enough yeah. for coming in and joining us. Jim, appreciate what you guys do here in the Valley to support the athletics, and uh, it's been fun to be here. Oh, man, it's a blast for us, for sure. Mike, great to see you. Thanks, Jim. Good to see you. Again. All right. We'll talk, we'll talk to you soon again. And Sounds it good. It won't be too long. All right. Mike Tavlansky of the Canfield Cardinals, state champs in Division Three. We'll be right back and talk with uh, South Range head coach Dan Yeager right after this. When we say don't trust your internet to just anyone, we mean it. At Armstrong, our network is monitored 24-7 by multiple highly trained engineers, not just a single person. What else? If you ever have a problem, all service visits are free. That's right, we come to your home to fix things, unlike those other guys. Armstrong, unmatched employees, unmatched technology, unmatched fiber network. Welcome back to Loose Change, and as advertised, uh, we have with us the <laughs> head coach of the Division Five 
State football champ, South Range Raiders, Coach Dan Yeagley. Coach, great to see you. Thank you Thanks so, much so much for, for having for me. Coming oh, in my and, goodness. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I apologize that it's taken this long to, for us to do this, but uh, it, as I mentioned earlier in the show, the flu bug uh, had other ideas. So, right. We Dude, that's got that that's way it is. Us here, <laughs> and here we are, and people will still be talking about this because, you know, that was the biggest uh, uh, sports story of the year. Oh. Mean, the two teams, two schools just a few miles apart. And uh, coming home with their first ever state championships. And, uh, so much fun. Um, uh, you know, as, as I talk with Mike and I've <laughs> talked to you previously, I, I know how proud you have to be of your guys and uh, everything they, they did to put in to make this happen. I, you know, it, I'm so proud of the kids. I mean, those, those are things, you know, winning a state title is a dream. It's a dream for yeah, sure. all 700 schools, you know, in, throughout the state of Ohio. And, uh, you know, and things have to fall into place, and we know that. And these kids, uh, it, it was so much fun, and I'm so proud of them because as the season went on, we actually got better. As oh, the yeah, season went on, and we got better and better. Sport, the kids right? started uh, clicking. They started understanding. They started believing. Uh, you know, we've gone 10-0 before, and uh, which is hard to do in the NE8. It's such a great league yes. uh, full of great players and coaches. And, you know, it, it was just everything started falling in place, and then all of a sudden a couple playoff games, okay. And then all of a sudden you're, you're playing uh, – we're lined up playing Mooney. <laughs> Which, uh, which is, you know, unbelievable. And, you know, we always talk about, you know, you want to make a statement, you got to beat a, beat a program, not just beat a team. you right. got to beat a program. And that was a huge program win for us, yes. beating, uh, you know, beating Mooney. And, you know, then, then you get a chance to uh, play Perry, another good mm -hmm. school. And then you got to play Liberty Center, another great traditional yeah. school. And then the kids just started believing. And, and they got, like I said, they started rolling and got better and better sure as the did. season went on. And like I said, I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of my coaches. My coaches, uh, you know, 60 weeks is a long time. And, uh, you know, they got them ready week in and week out and got these kids ready to play. And they played their hearts out. Well, you've talked about that. And other coaches, uh, you know, will, will say the same in terms of, you know, when you have success, it's, the people you have around you, you have to have a great staff. Oh, I got a tremendous staff. I mean, I've been blessed, you know. Uh, they put in so much time and so much work, and, you know, they're, they're, we're already in, in the steps for next year and everything else and trying to get things going. And it, it's just, like I said, they got the kids ready. I mean, they really yeah. did. I mean, they got them ready. They, they broke down the film, got practice sure. time ready. Yeah. Right. Uh, just so proud of them and proud of what they've done. And like I said, and. You can have the greatest staff if the kids don't know what they're talking about, then it doesn't matter. Right. But they, they, they're great teachers. They're great coaches, great teachers. Uh, they got the kids ready to play. <laughs> so fun. We're going to talk about the, the championship game, but of all years, this was the year you were going to get Kirtland, oh, <laughs> and they dropped no. down oh, <laughs> a division, I, and, and you don't match up with them. But what? Those are your only three losses. Uh, three losses in the last three years. Yes. You've just been to them. Yes. That's it, amazing. It, it is crazy, and uh, you know. Uh, Tiger's a good friend. I mean, Tiger Laverde, Laverde. He's, he's a great friend. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it just those how things work. Uh, could we beat him this year? We don't know. I mean, I uh, think so. <laughs> I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> But, you know, you don't know until you get on the field. Right. And, and they're, it's a, again, that's another great program. Uh, you know, would I have liked to play them? Sure. It, it, at that point, it didn't matter. You know, all of a sudden, you know, you, you lose Kirtland, and all of a sudden you see Perry coming down from D4 down to D3, uh, D5, and uh, it's like, oh, my goodness, so you got this team, you know. And uh, it just, like I said, everything fell into place, and, and the kids, like I said, yeah. uh, they didn't care. They, they played anybody, and go it, it wouldn't, game. yes, and go play hard, and that's what they did. Well, speaking of great programs, you match up with Ironton in, yeah, in the I championship know. game, and you guys were like – Firing on 12 cylinders that, that game. Man, it was something. It, it was a lot of fun. I mean, you know, it's it funny. The week coming up to that, uh, there's a lot of talk about, um, you know, the kids were finding all this stuff about the tradition, traditions of Ironton and yeah. the culture and everything else. And, uh, you, you know, we finally sat down and they said, oh, coach, they do this. Oh, coach. And, and I said, I, we had to sit down and talk and say, guess what? Traditions and culture doesn't have to be shared. You know, it's what goes on in the locker room. It's what goes on in the practice right. field. What goes on in, in, in the game time. We don't have to say, oh, this is what we do or this is what we do. We, we just got to go play. And they're no different than anybody else. Oh, but they've been there. I said, we just got to go play. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, you know, we played teams that have won state titles. Right. And, you know, we just got to go play and, uh, you know, make it our own. Do your very best. And that's all we're ever asking. And, uh, yeah, I mean, a great program, great coach, uh, some great players. And, sure. like I said, our kids – 
came out on fire. They played so hard. I I, I just watched it again the other night. It, it's so, <laughs> it, it, no, it, it won't. <laughs> uh, lots of fun. I mean, just so like I said, so proud of these what did kids. You have, you have, like, what was it five five hundred sixty eight total yards or five eighty six or something, something like, like that? that? Yeah. And uh, of course, Billy Skirpak with a terrific uh, game. He had three hundred thirty one yards passing three yeah. touchdowns and. Um, uh, he had three rushing just, touchdowns yeah, too. Right, yeah, right, right, right. He he just Billy had a great game and uh, great season, yeah, a great season. And he'll be the first one to give credit to the offensive yeah. line because you know uh, he, they gave him time. You know the game yeah. holes to run through, right. and they gave him time to throw. And uh, he he just did a great job. And when you're throwing to Shane Lindstrom yeah. and A. Leone and uh, J. D. Krause, when you're throwing to those guys, they uh, get open. <laughs> yes, they get open and they can uh, run once they get the ball and. Uh, it, it was, like I said, it was fun to watch. And it just those guys just played unbelievable. Yeah. And like I said, as the season went on, they got better and better. And it was, uh, uh, you know, Billy had a great game. He made some yeah. nice calls and some nice checks uh, during the game and, you know, made some uh, great adjustments uh, throughout the game. But it, it just, again, hats off to the offensive line to give – it's give us time, and then we were able to run the ball. I right. mean, we we got our uh, sweep package going, and uh, Blake did a super job running the ball. So it, it was just like everything just fell into place, yeah. and uh, and hats off to the defense too because to hold a program like that, Boy. I mean, just unbelievable. Well, you know, I, I I didn't get a chance to call that game unfortunately, but uh, uh, we caught the uh, pretty much the end of the first half and the second half. And as I remember from the previous year that we saw you guys. Your offense was so precision-like. I mean, yes. it, it's just right on point and sharp as a tack. And, right. You know, and that's what still sticks out in my mind. How 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 sharp. Unbelievable. You Wayne Allegretto, my offensive coordinator, has been with me all 28 years, yeah. and uh, he's this, he's he's a phenomenal coach and a great offensive mind. And uh, you know, the offensive line, you know, Tony Foster and, and Levi Taylor, they did a great job. Those those guards were pulling and yeah. kicking out. And, uh, you know, Nathan Toys, my running back coach, just did a super job there. And it, it, it was, like I said, it was everybody. And yeah, right. everything just fell into place. And uh, the, the offense was just clicking on all cylinders, yeah. like you said, because, you know, you put up – you go against a team like Ironton, you, all of a sudden you're pushing 600 yards of offense against them, yeah. uh, you know, and 53, yeah. whatever, 50, so whatever points it is. It's just, it is amazing. First ever uh, state football championship school history. Mm -hmm. It's the same with, with Canfield. And again, you guys opened it and they followed that, that afternoon. What an experience, though, for those young men, it, it, as well as yourselves. But the, these kids will have this the rest of their lives. You know, right. you get to that game, win or lose, only if a small percentage of people get a chance to experience that, and then they come out on top like you did. Uh, it, it's I know, and that, that's what we we talk about that all the time. You know, we talk you know since the game because, like I said, it, we're still on cloud nine. Yep. I mean, the kids still be. are. Yeah. I am. Uh, it's just still unbelievable. I pinch myself all the time. Just <laughs> is, but it, it's just. Uh, it is something, and I tell them, this is something you'll never, ever forget. Yep. Never. never. Uh, and, you know, you are state champs. That's in the books, and that will be in the books forever. Uh, you go back and look. Look at the other state mm -hmm. champs. Those guys are all proud of what they've That's done right. and everything else. This is, uh, you left your mark on Ohio high school football, and, uh, you know, it's it's something that's very special. And that's a bond those kids will oh. they'll have that will never be broken. Never. And, uh, you know, I'm proud of my seniors, and, and there's, there's 20 of them, and they just did a great job all year uh, accepting the underclassmen because they knew they couldn't do it all by themselves. They needed help, and, uh, you know, they, they let the young kids come up and lead, and some of them yeah. had to play, and uh, it didn't matter because they had a goal, and it wasn't a selfish goal. It was very team-oriented. Uh, they were very uh, much focused on what is best for the team and whatever they could do, and they understood their role. And some yeah. some of their roles were special teams. Some of the roles was uh, for the young kids were preparing the older kids for uh, the right. next game practice wise, That's right. yeah. and they all bought into it. Yeah. And uh, you know, luckily we were able to win uh, a lot of games by enough that some of those young guys got to come in. And guess what? The old guys were cheering them on. Yeah. Uh, and that's that's just. Like I said, the, I saw that, yeah. the team is yeah. just so special. Yeah. I mean, the team unity, and uh, and again, that's the culture of the seniors that the seniors uh, portrayed and, and brought in. So, well, the, so much the, fun. You had already raised the bar, but now, I mean, it's it's really mm -hmm. up there, and so it means that much more for the the kids that will come back uh, next season and beyond, and the kids coming up to be yeah. part of 
of the greatest football program. Yeah, and we talk, I mean, that's, that's something, you know, we talk about culture and we talk yeah. about things like that. We always say, you're playing now, okay, seniors, you're going to be known for this season. You know, right. that's, that, this is your season. Uh, but you got to remember, you're playing for all the guys that played before you, and you're playing for all the guys that are going to play after you. Uh, that's a part of a program. And, uh, you know, we had kids, you know, the kids, uh, you know, our seniors were throwing their gloves up in the stands. And, you know, I, I, you know as a church, then uh, that couple days later, and one, one little boy, I don't even know who he was, said, hey, can I be a ball boy for you guys <laughs> next year? Sure. Oh, I caught a glove. Somebody else said, I caught a, one of the gloves. Oh, I, cool. I'm going to get it signed from, from its school. And, those are things that are, are awesome, and uh, that's that's you know that's so fun. <laughs> it's you know, it's so awesome. As I talked with uh, Coach Pavlansky, you know, it extends beyond the football team to to the school, mm -hmm. the band, the cheerleaders, the community, and it just means so much to them as well and their their involvement. It it does, and the we got a great following. Our our, our fan base is unbelievable. Yeah. I mean. Uh, we're playing on a Friday morning at 1030 and all of a sudden we walk out that tunnel because we're, we're, we're the visitors and we walk out and all of a sudden I see our crowd, our fans were is packed. Uh, and I said, you've got to be kidding me. There's all these people uh, here to watch us play in a state championship game at 1030 in the morning. Uh, it, yeah. it, was, it was unbelievable, the crowd, uh, the noise, everything. And, you know, it, it's hearing from past players and how excited they are for uh, the program and how excited they are for this team and uh, even people that, you know, parents of kids saying, oh, it was so much fun and uh, how awesome it was for South Range to finally get to this mark. And, yeah. and it was, I mean, it, it was for the community, it was for everybody. And the kids, that's the nice thing, our kids understood that. They understood they're, they're playing for something bigger than just themselves. They're playing for everybody. You know, it's really cool, you know, you have two schools uh, so close to proximity. With South Range of Canfield, and then they had the celebration, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you know, back in December there for yeah. both schools. That, that was really neat that that happened. That was so much fun. Yeah, it, it was nice that uh, not even sure who all put all that together, yeah. but it was uh, it was it was great. And a uh, cold day, and there's still lots of fans yeah. and yeah. everything else, and uh, it was it was it was lots of fun. You know, Mike's a great coach. I mean, Coach Pat yeah, is a great absolutely. coach. I was able to coach in an All Star game. Uh, he was the head coach. I was one of the assistants and learned a lot from him. And uh, he's a phenomenal coach and always gets his kids ready to play. And uh, they play hard for him. And uh, it was fun being in there. And it was nice sharing state championships with him, too. Yeah, and, uh, for sure. That's it's great for the area. Oh, it's so great for the area. Because people talk about Northeastern Ohio being down football-wise. I, I tell you what, so. it, it's, it's good football. It really is. I, you know, I talk about our league. And our league is is a very good league and get you ready for where you yes did, what you oh did. sure did it yeah. sure sure did and you know playing great great programs great teams great coaches uh great players and it sure did prepare us for the playoffs i think the only thing left for you now is uh dancing with the stars you're, <laughs> you're gonna have to make an appearance uh, uh, you know, and then see how you do there so. no 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 there won't be any dance with the stars <laughs> well we'll see what happens I, we're, we're in, I'm, I'm still enjoying the moment i mean yeah. it's so much fun we got the big clinic coming up in february and mm -hmm. I uh, get to speak at that, and Mike gets to speak at it too, Great. which is fun. And uh, you know, it, it's I'm looking forward to it. I mean, uh, like I said, we sat around the weight room today, did some cleaning there, and sat around with the coaches and talked a little bit. And it, it's it, it, it's it's yeah. so, it's so much fun. Great, great thing. Yeah. South Range is such a special yeah. place, it really is. And uh, a lot of that's because of you and the people yeah. you surround yourself. And I can't congratulate you enough for. Uh, Thank you so much. this year and uh, before and, and beyond. And hopefully we'll get a chance to see you coming up next season as well. I hope so, too. Thank Thanks, you so sir. much for having me on. Oh, Appreciate our it. Our pleasure. Dan Yegley, we'll be back to uh, close things out right if we do this. Unhappy with your workforce connectivity? Get more with Armstrong Business Solutions. Armstrong delivers the latest in telecommunications products to keep your business connected and competitive. Business Pro Wi-Fi adds flexibility and security to your devices. And wireless internet backup keeps you up and running during a network disruption. Our new and expanding 10G network provides more gig speed fiber and more internet selection for business customers. Armstrong Business Solutions. Get more out of your business. Well, unfortunately, we're out of time, but that's going to do it for our show. We can't say thank you enough and congratulations enough 
the head coaches, Mike Pavlansky and Dan Yegley, and for them taking the time to join us here and talk about their championship teams. Way to go, everyone. And uh, thanks so much, as always, to Greg Roten and all of you. Check us out on YouTube, Armstrong Loose Change. We'll catch you next time right here. Go Cards, go Raiders.